church a Esther person, but he did not he wasn't he didn't show disruptiveness. But as soon as he got into secondary school, I think there was a different challenge. And I felt that uh, teachers couldn't cope with with his intelligence and disruptive behavior often with uh, very uh, it, it, yes, uh, disruptive behavior is very much, uh, you can find that very much uh, frequently with uh, children that are very bright. But within two weeks, he was excluded. And this exclusion, five days, I was shocked. It brought me to the challenge of uh, challenging the, the governors. I said, how could this happen just within two weeks? This was, I never knew this was going to be a journey that would destroy so much of my family life. And through that journey of exclusion, I had the privilege of meeting the founder of this charity, who is the Ernst Father. I never knew after 12 years time, I will meet the son again last year. So we are connected again. I was connected again to this charity in 2015. After 2002, the father represented my son in that exclusion. So I feel very, very, very privileged, like I said, very honored to be a part of this charity because the work which they do is a work that very, very much touched my heart. So I share with you tonight the consequences of exclusion, how the journey of that exclusion con continuously it prolonged and in the end, my son was permanently excluded. Permanently excluded at age 14. He just wrote a note for me, mommy, I'm very sorry that I disappointed you in my education. And he left home at age 14. He just went into the street. Before you know it, he fell into the arms of uh, drug dealers. And before you know it, my son was in prison. That is how exclusion, what, that is what it does to children. From prison, from uh, exclusion, Peru, they call it from Peru to prison. Peru is uh, the, the, the pupil referral unit which often they, uh, at the school exclude children to give them some part-time part -time hours to, to be educated there. From there on, they don't function very well, I'm telling you. They do not function well. Once they are out of the mainstream school, they do not function well. The children cannot stand that. They get into the streets, they just get into trouble and they end up in prison. So that is why I say from prune to prison. But thank God, my son came out of prison and uh, it was through continuous letters. I, I had to write con continuously. All my children now, they are now graduates. And I thank God because of the persistence perseverance of a parent who understand that basic and education is not enough for our children. Because when you exclude these children, just giving them read and write, that is not enough. That is not enough. We want our children to be astronauts. We want them to be doctors. We want them to be what they are supposed to be. What this, this nation is so rich with education, free education. Here, I tell you, they are so rich. So, excluding the people at a very young age, which this charity, they really intercede for, I call it the, the intervention that we do, the calls that come in, when children are excluded, parents are at a loss. They don't know what to do. But I tell you, with this charity, they are able to guide to provide the advice that parents need. So I encourage you to continue to support this charity because the work is very special, very, very special, not only to me, not only to you, to future generations that are coming as well, to your grandchildren. I'm not a grandmother, so I continue to support this charity, and I encourage you to continue to support this charity. Thank you.